Alright guys, well, my kid is still sleeping, so uh, I'll have a little bit of time before she gets up. Um, figured I'd come out, do a little quick tool review, and uh, show you how the tool works. So, what I did, um, what I needed to do was replace the Hydra Boost um, power steering pump on my motor with just a regular Don Hydra Boost one and I found a buddy of mine who um, converted his regular truck to Hydra Boost so um, what I did was well, we, we're just gonna swap pumps um, he's gonna take the Hydra Boost for a spare and uh, I'm gonna use his old regular truck one uh, on my setup so needless to say um, you need to take the pulley off to get uh, the actual pump itself off the truck bracket. Um, I've never done it before, so it was kind of um, new to me, but actually it's really simple. Um, <clears throat> if you're a mechanic for a living, you can go out and spend $100 or more on a pulley tool, um, but this tool from Harbor Freight, it's $12.99. Basically has everything the expensive kits have. Um, it's probably the same kit as the expensive kits, just, you know, you know how they, how they roll with stuff like that. But anyways, um, I already took the, the stock pulley off, but I'll show you the, uh, the premise behind how the tool works. So, basically you take, and I'll unthread this here. Some of you guys are probably already pros at this, but again, I've never used used something like this before. Anyways, you take um, take this tool here, and you use one of these um, pins, right? And you'll put the pin down into there, and then you'll take, say your pulley's still on. You'll take this little clamshell apparatus, and you can see both sides have different size openings. So what you do is find the side that best fits around the pulley lip, which is the smaller smaller side in this case. So what you'll do is put the tool over the, the uh, pulley lip like so, put this little collar, retaining collar down over it, um, and then this tool will, um, this part, the jack screw, uh, will actually, um, go underneath, um, here before you put that, uh, clamshell piece on. And as you hold both of those, um, nuts there, uh, you'll back it off and it'll pull the pulley off with it. It's actually, um, really simple design, but it works really well. And for... Um, twelve ninety nine. Like it was worth it was worth trying it myself, and uh, you know if it worked, I'll get a, a tool out of it or whatever. So um, definitely recommend the tool. So far, I've used it only once, but it works great. So um, I would recommend it. It again is uh, item number four zero seven four nine. Twelve ninety nine at Harbor Freight. Um, now I'm at the, the the portion of the situation where I have to install this pulley. So I got the new non um, Hydra Boost pulley on the bracket or Hydra Boost pump on the bracket. I'm sorry. So according to the directions, I take the small end of one of these screws that I think will work appropriately, and um, I thread it in. wasn't there we go so I think I think that one's gonna work the best and then the pulley will go over it and then you take uh, in the kit they give you um, a bearing bearing goes over the tool like so and then they give you a little thrust washer that goes over the end of it and then um, you thread this tool 
onto the threaded um, threaded rod that went down into the um, the pump itself. And then, as you can see from from this point forward, um, it's kind of pretty self-explanatory what's going to happen. So, <coughs> damn. Let me um, let me install this pulley, and I will um, show you the end result. So I'll get back to you in a second. Okay. So back again. Uh, my kid must have heard that I was out in the garage, and she got up. So had to run and quick uh, get her up, feed her, change her, all that fun stuff. <clears throat> anyway, she's watching Sesame Street now, so we're good. Um, what I did was again uh, set this program up here on this on this pulley. There's a bearing, a thrust washer, the installer, and the threaded program. Uh, sorry about that. Um, they want you to turn it in by hand, which is freaking ridiculous. Um, a um, this threaded part here threads into another threaded part down on the pump. So basically when you try to tighten it down, it loosens the other piece. So it's kind of a kind of a retarded design because I've seen some others online that are just all one piece. So as you're tightening, it's tightening it into the pump and then driving the, the pulley down. So it's kind of um, counterproductive to do it by hand. So I ended up just grabbing uh, my impact and blasting it on. And basically, when you're done with it, just unthread it. And then uh, you want it to be just flush with the, the shaft of the pump there. And I think, uh, I think that'll do it. This piece here is just threaded into the pump shaft. So I'll just take a quarter inch ratchet and uh, remove it that's part of the tool that's the part that I'm talking about uh, uh, as you hold that top nut as you hold this this piece here with a wrench and try to tighten it down on that the pulley's spinning and uh, loosening that so it's kind of um, retarded that way but with an impact with an impact it went right on so um, the tool is pretty decent for twelve dollars especially for pulling it um, was a breeze pulling it <clears throat> um, so I would definitely recommend it uh, for you know your at-home mechanic um, definitely worth the twelve dollars to just throw it in your toolbox if you ever need to pull a pulley off or whatever uh, or even install one but installing was a little weird uh, I ended up just going for the brute force and grabbing the the impact but it went right on then, so back in business. Now I have a uh, non Hydra Boost pump on my truck bracket, and I will put it back in the Volvo. One step closer to firing this pig, maybe this week, I'll uh, wrap some stuff up and we'll be able to crank it and fire it and, uh, you know, see where we go from there. But that's it for now, just a quick update.